show again guys. So in this video I'm going to very briefly go over which AWS certifications are available and which you should focus on if you're a complete beginner. And in the following series of videos we're going to go over the different AWS services you need to know to pass said beginner certification. Now if you watch my last video you already know what AWS is. So what does it mean to be AWS certified and is it worth it? Now being AWS certified means you've passed a test to show that you know how to use Amazon's web services to a certain level depending on the test you pass. Now this test is created by Amazon themselves and because AWS is so immense with so many different services there are different tests to showcase the different skills you can have within the cloud. As of right now it costs about 100 US dollars to pass the beginner certification and it can cost up to 300 US dollars to take the more advanced level exams. Now as for if it's worth it, AWS certifications are some of the very few online certifications that have any value on a CV or resume. It obviously depends on the kind of job you're going for, but in my opinion, it definitely is worth it if you're trying to show a potential employer you know how to use AWS. Now here's the different paths you can take with regards to these certifications. Everyone begins at Cloud Practitioner, and after that you specialize in different parts of AWS, depending on the position you're preparing for. Now as I said, in this series we're going to be focusing on the Cloud Practitioner certification, because that's a starting point for anyone interested in the cloud. Now as I said earlier, I'm going to be covering the AWS services for this exam very briefly, because I'm going to mention just enough to get you onto the practice practice exams. Trying to memorize 12 tons of notes is just inefficient studying. And the most efficient way to learn isn't by watching endless talking head videos, it's by using active recall to try and pull information out of your brain. But before we can get to that, you'll need to know at least something about the AWS services so you can understand what the questions are actually asking. And then when you inevitably start getting them wrong, you'll be able to understand why you got them wrong and then learn from that. When using this method and spending a few hours a day studying, I think it's quite reasonable to pass this beginner certification within one month. Though of course it won't be without effort. This first level examination is mostly theory, so the goal is to learn just enough about AWS to know which services can solve which business problems. And then other more advanced certifications will cover the actual implementation of those services. And in the next video we'll kick things off by talking about the benefits of AWS. See you there.